Hey, what's up guys? So today I actually had a really good day. Um, really well controlled, well played, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, place that I took. So DKS, uh, it, w it went up and then it came swinging down um, really hard. Um, and I didn't go into it until it started to break this range. Uh, it was kind of chopping around here. Um, what I saw on uh, on, on level uh, two was that there um, it seems like there is like a lot of uh, ass that was building up um, and then when we take a look at the daily level it dropped right down the, around this level which sits on the um, on, on a daily SMA so that's when I decided to just go in and, and, and take a position and see what happens. I set my stop right below uh, these uh, moving averages, these uh, exponential moving averages. So I went in, set my uh, stop here, and I actually, you know, uh, set a hard range um, between 132 and that level. But realistically, I was going to get out somewhere before this uh, SMA or at least partial out. Uh, but I decided to start to scale out once it um, ran up. Um, and started to show on level two some resistance where it's just kind of swinging back and forth between a couple of numbers in this range. So I decided to partial out some uh, and then when it hit this level and uh, started to make a big retreat kind of like what it did, I just uh, hit my hotkey and exit the entire position. Um, now it dropped. It may keep on running back up but it seems like it's starting to lose steam here. So I wanted to keep my profits and I exited that. Same thing here on um, on the five minute, um, you see, uh, you know, volume starting to pick up. Uh, this tried to um, sell and then it got pushed back up and it started to move up, got pushed back down and then it started to move up again. So that's when I uh, decided to use this as a sort of a signal to go in for the break of this range on the five minute, which corresponded to this on the, on, on the one minute. Um, so that was my play on, on uh, DKS. I also did um, Bath and Beyond a few times. So Bath and Beyond uh, dropped uh, the entire day. It sort of gapped up and then it dropped again. It uh, dropped towards a daily level. So that gave me some confidence in uh, going into it. But I didn't really go in right away until uh, a bit later. Here I actually took on the short side originally because it was breaking down below this range. I took a short position and then um, I scaled into it when it really did, did drop. Uh, but then I was quick to pull the trigger to get out once it looked like it was consolidating at that level. And uh, and then uh, it formed sort of this double bottom. Uh, and then as it broke the range, I, I went in for a reversal on, on the long side. I got out a bit too quickly because it hit this um, uh, SMA and it started to consolidate in that area. So I partialed out uh, a lot of it and then I got out the, the, the majority up here because I don't know if it would just curl back down and, 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 and make its way down again. Um, but it looks like it's actually making a, a real run for the uh, VWAP right now. So, um, so yeah, uh, that, uh, Man, there's a whole point here. But you know what, it is what it is. Um, you know, I, actually this last stop was a trail and stop loss. So as it popped up, it went back down five cent. I, I got out my last piece here. Might have gotten out too early, but um, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, better to, to be out quick than to be stuck in a position. So yeah, so those were my plays for the day. And um, yeah, and then that's, that's it. Um, so I hope everyone does well. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay green. Peace out.